So what we're going to take a look at in this video is importing um, a column from a spreadsheet, from a Google spreadsheet, into a Google form so that we can have a drop down which has all this sort of information. So I've got like programs in here. So let's say that I want people to go into this Google form and be able to choose a program. The drop down will just automatically import from here. And anytime we add somebody into, uh, sorry, add a program into this list, it comes through into the Google form. So to do this, we're going to use scripts. Uh, you don't have to write any script or anything like that. I've, I've got the, I'll put it in the um, the description so you can just copy and paste straight in. But I will show you how to use it. The first thing to probably know is I, I usually look at doing a sort. So if you come and type equals sort and then the range from which your information lies, that means uh, any time that, that we come in here, we can just put in like a new a new program and it comes through into here automatically but in in alphabetical order so we don't have to mess about changing the order all the time so we're going to be using this one um, so what we want to do is you want to come to your Google form and you want to um, first choose drop-down okay nice and simple Okay, what we're then going to do is we're going to come back to the Google Sheet. We're going to go to Extension and we're going to go to App Script. It's going to bring you to a new tab which looks like this. What you want to do is just highlight all of this, delete it out, and paste in the script that is in the description. So there's going to be a few things in here that we need to change. But again, it's nice and simple, it's, it's nothing too difficult. Um, all the stuff that we need to change, you can see in red. So the first thing we want to need is the form ID. So if we come back to the form, and you see this at the top here, that I've highlighted in between these brackets after the D and before, and, so, and before edit, is the form ID. So you copy that, you come back to your script, and you paste it in there. Keep the speech marks, keep the speech marks on each side. Then we need the drop down list ID, which is a little bit more difficult to get, but again, not hard. So just right click on this page and click inspect. This is going to bring you this up. Okay, so what we do when we've got this up is if you come down here where we can see find by string, if it's not there, press control and F, uh, command and F if you're on a Mac, and then type in data item ID, just like that. It's going to bring you to, we don't want this one that says one, so find the next one. We want this one. Now you see when I hover my mouse over here, the drop down section in the Google form goes in sort of blue, highlights it in blue, so we can see it for the right section. Um, in case you have more than one component in your form at the moment, we don't want to be picking up the wrong data item ID. And it'll look like this. So we can just double click on that to get it. And we come back to the form and we put it there. Now, we need the name of the sheet in the spreadsheet. So what that means is what, what the tab's called down here. So if we get that, and we put that into there, and we want to save. Okay, click debug just to check, see if there's anything wrong with it, and it'll probably ask you to review permissions for your account so just click into your account click allow and then it'll run the debug okay so if we come back here now you can see that all these are in here as a drop down so if we click on preview the form everything that was in here is now in there now one last thing we need to do to make sure that this runs as um, it updates is you want to come over to this left hand side and click triggers and just add a couple of triggers down at the bottom so the bottom right there'll be a blue trigger button I might be in the way of that um, so what we want to do is on an update on form and we want we want to the source event is from the spreadsheet where we want to um, notify the, the update from and probably do it on edit and click save and then add another to on change and click save 
So anytime we edit or change that spreadsheet, this is, this script is going to run. And it's going to update this drop down for us. Nice and simple. I'll, again, I'll, like I said, I'll put the script in the description. If you have uh, any questions for me, just leave a comment in the box uh, in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.